Mr. Wu, the defendant was your roommate. Yes. Along with, this is your fiance? Yes, ma'am. When did you become roommates? We became roommate on um, September 6, 2015. That's when we signed the lease agreement. And was your fiance a friend of the defendants? Is that yes. how you met? They were is that co-worker. correct? Where did they work? They work at Barbizon. What's Barbizon? It's, from my understanding, it's a talent agency. What do they do? They were the talent directors. So they interview kids okay. and put them into program. And the three of you signed a lease? Yes, ma'am. That's what this case is about. Each of you claim that the other is responsible for breaking the lease. You both want money from each other. You also claim that Ms. Suarez is responsible for some damage to your car mm -hmm. that took place when you had loaned your car to your fiance. And she says Ms. Suarez was driving the car with her permission. Mm -hmm when an accident or damage took place, mm -hmm. and a whole bunch of other nonsense. So you moved in September 6th, 2015. Your lease is up now. When did you move out? We moved out June 5th, where we officially turned in the key. We moved out a couple of days prior, June 3rd. Do you have a copy of your lease? Uh, yes, I do. I'd like to take a look at it. You had a month's rent and a month's security. Yes, we paid the security of $600. Our monthly rent was $2,470.61. So you moved out about two months before your lease was up? A few months, yes, to be exact. Okay, so of course you lost your month's security. Mm hmm Okay, and how much money? You have a cancel check to the landlord? Uh, yes. I'd like um, to see the cancel check to the landlord because yeah. you say it cost you a whole lot of money to get out of the lease, but you didn't actually get out of the lease if you left a couple of months before. That was the check for lease cancellation. It was a cashier check made to them. Just a second. Okay, so you paid the two months rent, which is really what you paid to leave early. Where did you go? And you want her to be responsible for that. Right, we okay. end up having to stay at Purple's relative's place. Because okay, so you went to, to your fiance's relatives. Is that where you still are? Yes. And is your fiance still working at the same agency as the defendant? No. When did she leave that agency? February of 2016. And where is she working now? Uh, she's currently unemployed. Due to her pregnancy, yeah. Well, she wasn't pregnant in February. It, no. Oh, no, no, she wasn't. Why did she leave work in February? Um, the, their work had a workforce uh, downsizing, so she was let go. Let go. Yeah. And she didn't get another job after that? She did. So afterwards, she went to work for Posh PR as an intern. They were a clothing agency, and Marta later on was employed there as the main sales rep. So that's when they went on the trip to San Francisco. Listen, Sorry. that's more information than I needed. Sure. I just asked you, she went to work someplace else yes. after February. Until when? Until, I would say May. When May happens, that's when she started work, stopped working. So, when did you move out of the apartment? I didn't move out. I'm still there. You're still there? Yes. Oh, that's great. And when did you last pay rent? Uh, when they left me. No, no. Oh. When did you last pay rent in the apartment, Miss Suarez? Okay. I, I mean, I can call the landlord and find out. Why don't you tell me? Yes. Give me the month that you last paid rent. Okay, the last month was uh, May. Okay, so you last paid rent in May, so you're mm -hmm. a squatter. Mm-hmm. <laughs>